Well, we're in the kitchen this morning with Crystal Woods from the Health Resource Center, and we are talking about crock pot meals. Crystal, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Yeah, of course. So when everyone thinks of crock pots, they think of really this time of the year, kind of this cold weather, yeah. and people love using it for a variety of things, but especially, you know, when you think of crock pot, you think of using it for meat, That's for right. slow cooking the meat. The soups, the stews, yes. the meats during the winter months. Slow cookers or crock pots, that's just going to be the brand name, mm -hmm. um, are just going to cook at a very lower temperature for a long time. So it's slow cooking method. Mm -hmm. It can be really good for a lot of our um, less tender meat, so we're encouraging more of that lean mm -hmm. poultry, um, you know, the, the beefs as well if we're doing a pork loin. Right. It's not going to be as tender, but if we cook it in a slow cooker, it is going to be a lot more tender over that long period of time. Right. So a slow cooker helps to add more of those subtle flavors. But we don't have to always do the soups and stews and meats. And that's where um, you come in. That's right. So today <laughs> we actually have a dessert option and then we have a breakfast casserole. You know, I've heard of being able to throw eggs into the slow cooker, mm -hmm. but I just never knew how great it turns out and it almost is kind of like a frittata yeah, sort of thing. Exactly. So it's going to be more of a frittata so everything kind of mixed in there. Um, you could do more of a quiche and even have mm -hmm. that crusted bread but we thought today we'll stick right. to just the egg <laughs> dish. Um, so with this one over here I was going to chop some of those yes, veggies and show us what us. we've got. Yes. Um, so you, you can see here up front we've got um, the eggs. So we went ahead and put four to five eggs okay. in the mixture and it does depend on the crock pot. So um, like you can't size, really right? see here, yeah, but this this crock pot actually has two sections. Okay, wow. Um, so you can see it's going to be a little bit uh, more shallow. Right. So it's not going to have that big deep pot. If you have a really deep pot and you're putting this small amount of ingredients in, it's not going to cook the way you want it to. Right, it's you're going to want to overcook. Yes, yeah, so you're going to mm -hmm. want some more. So, so you, depending on your crock pot size, you might need to add some more eggs, some more ingredients. That's right. Well, so, I'll whisk this up for you. That sounds good. We're going to go ahead and cut the bell pepper. Okay. So we know bell peppers, especially during these winter months are going to be good options mm -hmm. because of that vitamin C. So usually the more vibrant the color, the more vitamins and minerals. That's not always the case, but with bell peppers, the green are the least ripe. So as okay. we continue with colors, the orange and red are probably going to have a little bit more of that vitamin mm -hmm. C, which is good for that immune system. Right, exactly. And what's great too about any, you know, slow cooker meals, especially something like this egg dish, you can really customize it. That's right. So you can add a ton of vegetables. Mm -hmm. You can add, if you really like certain vegetables, you can add that in there. Exactly. And today we actually, um, I didn't mention, this was more of a southwestern egg dish. Ooh, so okay. So that's where the black beans and some of the spices we're going to use comes in. Okay, wonderful. But you wonderful. can see here, I've got my thumb out. We want to be careful when we're using any knife, but especially bigger chef knives, um, that we've got our bones out because if we nick those, it's not going to be as bad as yeah. if we nick the edge of our fingers. The tips of the uh -huh. fingers, yeah. So we'll go ahead and add in, I'm only going to do about the, a half right. of the pepper for now. We're doing a little bit smaller amount. Right. And then we've got... For TV's sake. Yes. <laughs> Less chopping. So we're adding kind of all of the ingredients mm -hmm. into the egg. And then you'll notice over here we've got the no salt added canned black beans. Mm -hmm. So we're going to use about a half a can. So okay. it ends up being anywhere from a half a cup to a three-fourths of a cup. And you and just we, mix that right in here. Mm -hmm. We're going to mix that in and you want to keep in mind um, the added salt we get in dishes. If we're cooking at home we're probably going to have a lot less but adding um, canned vegetables isn't always a bad thing. They kind of get bad wraps because of all that added salt or sodium mm -hmm. and if you get a no salt added variety it usually has a whopping amount of less right. sodium. And so, you can drain them too mm -hmm. as well. So Rinse that's and drain, good. it's going to take about 40% of that sodium off. Well, there you go. So we've got those green onions there. Mm, it smells really good. Scallions, they've got a lot of different terms for that. Right. <laughs> and then we're going to have a little bit of spinach and I thought I'd show how to chop that. Yeah. It can be like a lot of our other leafy greens and herbs like mm -hmm. basil. You can take the biggest parts of the leaves and put the smaller ones in and then just kind of roll it. Oh, and that's we're gonna a great do idea. Kind of a, chiffonade or chiffonade. Oh, so fancy. Yes. So and it's so going to kind of look like, like ribbons. That. Mm -hmm. So if someone, especially if kids are maybe eating this dish or maybe a who husband really or wife like who doesn't spinach. like the veggies, um, you might want to eat, have these smaller portions. You could put right. the whole thing in, um, but you might want to cut it in 
little bit Gosh, um, look at smaller how portions. good that looks and so when we come back then we can talk about how this can go in there and kind of the next steps with this egg dish crystal thank you so thank much you. we so appreciate it she's over at the health resource center and guess what they have classes there as well including one that's called taste the world there's a number right there if you want to find out some more information thanks again crystal we appreciate it thank you